I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this game, there is a link in the video description below to a demonstration and to where you can get the rules. This exercise focuses on quick decision making. That's why I call it Siamese Sprints. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. I set that time because when you play online, if you don't make a decision in two minutes, the game will discard for you. And they could discard a towel you need. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app on it. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We'll roll these dice each time to determine which player we are. Player one, if I roll an odd. Player two, if I roll an even. Here I rolled an odd, so we're going to be player one. I will get 28 tiles. Look at these wins. Pairs of news. I would try to play like numbers with news. We have all the fives. Down here, two six, two four six eight, or two three four. Two four six eight, two three four, four six eight, two four six eight lap. This is ready to win on a five bam. Pair, 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 single. Four, four. Yep, ready to win on a five. Down here, I would play maybe two, four, six, eight in one suit. Two, four, six, eight with eights concealed. Or we could do three, four, three, four if consecutive tiles come in and then use this as joker bait. 3434 four, four with flowers. That would be the second from the bottom under consecutive run. So I would start by discarding those. You know what though? We could use this down here. 2468 with dragon. Second from the bottom. So I would hold that. This could be double mahjong. This is a winner right here. Ready to win on a five bam. And I would take it right away if it's discarded. Sprint two, I rolled a four. That's an even number. So we're going to be player two. I will get 27 tiles. Okay, we have a couple of jokers, flowers, east, west, south, cracks, four, six, eight. We do have a pair of twos, three, five, six, seven, eight, pair of ones in bams, three, or three, seven. So here, I wonder if what fours or what uh, even numbers, east and west with sixes maybe. Let's see about east and west with sixes. We have multiple here we can leverage. East and west with sixes. And then for the other hand, this hand has no gaps. Here we have four, five, two, three, four, five, 
two, three, four, five consecutive run, joker bait, discards, lap. Winds and dragons, consecutive run, east and west with sixes. This would be the fifth hand down under winds and dragons and then two, three, four, five consecutive run. I would gather and not pick a hand till I run out of discards. Probably we're gonna need to use joker bait for these tiles. These are the discards. If I had to pick a hand for two, three, four, five, I would play two, three, four, five, second hand down. Two, three, four, five, second hand down. But I wouldn't pick a hand, I would gather. Gather till we run out of discards. Every two, three, four, five, regardless of suit. And then whittle down the options until we have to pick a hand. This could be a winner here. This will take some work. I rolled a six, so we're going to be player two. Jokers, flower, east, south, red, pung of threes, four, seven, eight, crack, pair of eights, one, three, six, pairs and ones and sixes, one, three, four, five, six. We have all the threes, all the threes and multiples. Let's see if we could do like numbers with threes. Or what about three, four, three, four? Maybe like numbers with threes. Let's just hold those there. I don't know about the ones though. Six, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight consecutive run. Lap. So this is how I would do it here. Probably I would play like numbers with threes, like numbers with threes, or three, four, three, four. We'd have to get rid of this. That's why I wouldn't make that plan A. Three, four, three, four. Either way, we're leveraging multiples. Three, four, three, four with flowers, sec uh, second from the bottom under consecutive run. And then down here, I would play five, six, seven, eight. Anytime I have mixed suits that can work together, I pick a range of four numbers using the multiples. Five, six, seven, eight. That's a four number range. So I would just gather till we run out of discards. And here we have joker bait. There are videos that explain that strategy. It is a great strategy coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama, where you hold a pair that you don't need. Here we don't need the ones, but we can hold it till the end of the middle game or maybe the middle of the middle game. Discard one, the opponent makes an exposure with a joker and then on our next turn, we make an exchange for the other. That's how it's supposed to work. So that would be the silver lining for this hand. This hand looks pretty good, I think. If I had to pick a hand here, five, six, seven, eight, joker bait, five, six, seven, eight, second hand down under consecutive run. But I wouldn't pick a hand. I would wait. I would gather and stay concealed. That would give you the best flexibility 
until you then could whittle down to a hand to free up more discards. So four discards with Joker bait is not too bad. Now here, we're not gonna be able to use all these depending on which way we go. If we play three, four, we'll have to get rid of these. So that takes our discards up to eight, including Joker bait. If we play like numbers with threes, then we have nine discards, including two sets of Joker bait. That's why I like this plan because we have fewer discards and we're using more multiples. Let's see how things went with time. The purpose of Siamese sprints is to force yourself to make quick decisions. When you get all those tiles, you could easily experience paralysis of analysis. But if you train yourself to identify the strength of a dealt hand, keep tiles that support the strength of the hand, whether it be multiples or the predominant pattern. Discard to get the game going. Gather tiles for the categories you've selected. Then when you run out of discards, you can take a minute to whittle down your options or maybe even pick a hand. That's one way to train yourself to play a faster game. Let's see how things went with the time. Sprint one, one minute, 21 seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 40. Sprint three, one minute, 36. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. So I made it for these sprints. As an advanced player, I think that's a good guideline. If you are an intermediate player, give yourself three minutes. And if you are a beginner, give yourself four minutes, but push yourself to get down to that two minute mark. When you're at the two minute mark, you can play online comfortably or maybe even play in a tournament. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.